go! Experience is proudly sponsored by Crestliner, leader by innovation. Tobler Marina, your one stop boat shop. Oxart, your single source supplier. Lincoln Electric, the welding experts. And Honda Marine, it's all about power. Hello, folks, and welcome to the Angler's Experience. We've got a beautiful sunrise coming up behind us. We've got a great show in store for you today. We're going to be drop shot and lake trout. We're going to be fishing for them on shallow reefs. This drop shot technique will catch everything from walleye to crappie, and yes, it will catch big lake trout. Stay tuned, you'll see some big fish. Folks, that fish, we were just popping along there, and I made a comment to the camera guy and my pops in the back there. I just saw one on the grass, and sure enough, got, that fish got to about the middle of the graph, which would be where about my bait's at, and it hit it. If I could tell you one piece of equipment to spend money on, and I know you know when I was when I was growing up, we didn't even have a fish finder. Your fish finder was your eyes, and that was about as good as it got. But uh, as we've progressed along and invested into the program, and you know trying to give you the best program that you can see, we we got to have a good piece of electrical equipment. I've got to be able to go out and find the fish, so that I can put it together for you at home to watch and learn. In this X19 from Lawrence. They make an X15 and they make an X19, and the biggest benefit of the X19 is it's a color graph. They're both high pixel quality, but this color, what it does, I've got it on a feature called bottom tracking, and it makes the bottom all brown. Anything that's a fish, which the graph is picking up off of the swim bladder, will come back in an echo to me with these big fish like this. There'll be a green, small green arch there. And with the standard black and white graph, you just cannot see those fish. They will look like a rock. They blend right in with the bottom. And these lakers, just like lakers and walleyes, they'll be right down on the floor a lot of the times. In, in a standard graph, you just won't pick them up. So if I could tell you to save up your bucks and get a graph, the graph I'd tell you to get would be this X19 by the Lawrence. It's a beautiful unit. You don't have to be a computer wizard. Lord knows I'm not the smartest guy on the, on the face of the planet. And, and I can get in there and run it. It's very user friendly but it'll help you find these fish. That's part of what makes a good angler is the equipment that he has in terms of the electronics, being able to find these fish. This fish is gonna bulldog me a little bit. This was nothing to do with me, guys. Absolutely zero. And the size of the mark on the graph, I wouldn't say it's a real, real big, big fish. I mean, it's, a, it's obviously it's a nice fish, but usually when you get the 20 to 30 pounders, they leave a pretty big mark on the graph. And this one was just a decent sized mark, probably probably got to be in the upper teens, middle to upper teens, I, I was guessing. down there pops just keep jigging I'm trying to hold you on the top here see if we can get us a double header they're stacked up down there on the bottom right now there you go dad you got one double header guys just like that I saw that fish on the graph and no kidding not fancy photography or anything dad hooked up right behind us he's got one on right there big one dad so I don't I don't think she's just kind of holding for a little bit okay good job dad good job dad <laughs> yeah folks I'm telling you you got to get out there and do it. Don't think because we've got our own show and we've got the equipment that you can't do it. Ever since the age of five, I've wanted to be on a fishing show and I've fished hard and learned a lot and listened to a lot of different people and you too can get out there and do it. You just got to have the confidence and you just have the, 
the want and desire to do it and you'll make it happen. Don't be intimidated because it's something that you're seeing on TV. That has nothing to do with it. We're just like you. We're just like you. Looks like a good fish, Dad. I want to see if I can put the hustle on mine here a little bit so I can give you a hand. Always remember to take your dad out fishing too. Dad or your son, there ain't nothing any better. He always took me out fishing when I was a kid. Now I get to return the favor and it makes me happy. Just don't whoop them up too bad, because if you start whooping them pretty bad, they get a little angry at you, so make sure you keep it fair. What do you got, Pop? You seen her yet? Oh no. Oh no, he says. <laughs> oh no, he says. Folks, we have a double header on a couple of big, big fish right here. Look at that. Tell me that is not a beautiful acre. Yeah, buddy. And that's fishing is not made for bass and crappie, folks. All right. Would you look at that? Oh, that's a beauty. Hang on to her, Dad. I'll be back here in a second. Oh, that's all right. I'm fine. I'm not gaining any ground. <laughs> look at that, folks. Uh, is that not a beauty? That is just a beautiful. Give that thing a big old slimy bear hug. Awesome. Yeah. Doesn't get any finer, guys. Let's slip this fish back. I gotta get back there and help my dad land his fish. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful fish right there. Come on, darling, you're fine. Ready? There she goes. Big submarine, guys. Let's get back there and help dad. Kind of almost gives me reflections of last year. Yep. But I don't think this is heavy. Oh, that's a big one. That's a pretty big glow down there. Oh, here he comes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at there, guys. That's a double header with a couple, probably 15 pounders or so. We didn't get a weight on the other one. Go ahead and reel down one more, Dad. Yeah. Just take your time. Oh yeah, look at that. Got him. Nice fish, Dad. Nice fish. There, folks. Another nice Laker. That's a double header. Oh, on that's it. so much fun. That's a double header on a couple big ones, folks. I don't want to stick my hand in there, but I got it. There you go, Pop. Pretty Laker. All right. Pretty. Beautiful fish. Beautiful, beautiful fish. So right. much fun on light test. Yes, it is. All right, let's slide her back in here. Okay, baby. Thank you for the fight. Yes. Ready? There you go. Double header, that's what I like. Boy, I can't even move this fish, guys. This is a, this is a pretty heavy fish here. This is a heavy fish, staying straight down. Staying straight down. I'll tell you folks a little story. I was up here, not yesterday, but the day before. And there's a certain time of year I come to this particular lake, and these lakes move up shallow and they feed on the spawning uh, northern pike. And I came up to pre fishing with a good friend of mine and didn't bring the camera guys along. I thought we'd just go up and have some fun. And he was back at the, the computer desk editing some footage that we'd had before. So I was doing a little scouting. We came up here, right off the bat we hit a 14 and a 15 pounder and I said, boy, if that isn't Murphy's Law to come up here and catch some big fish without the cameraman. I thought, well, that's, you know, 14, 15 is kind of bad to lose on, you know, not have them on film. We got some still pictures of them, had fun with them. 
fishing kind of slowed down, so I moved to another one of my spots, and I'll be darned if I didn't hit a 30-pounder, my biggest laker personally that I've ever caught. I didn't have the camera guy with me, but we've got some still pictures of it, and I got the memory right here in my head, so called the called my camera guy up and told him, hey, we got to get up here. They're biting, so hopefully we're going to make her up and get a 30-pounder. I don't think this is a 30-pounder, but it's a pretty big fish. We're going to take it. 30 pounder I caught I had 8 pound test line on this exact pole little quantum PT number 10 I tell people about it all the time they look at me like I'm lying but Bruce in the pudding I got him there he is right there that's a nice one that's a nice fish right there that's a beauty there we go that's a pretty fish that's a nice one that's a beauty look at the color on that one nice and thick and girthy healthy all right buddy hang on get you back in there that is absolutely gorgeous fish look at the red on that fence what a beautiful fish that one there probably go probably around nine pounds or so they can take across the shoulders beautiful little fish all right buddy get the job we're gonna put you back in there now go back down there and tell the girls it's time to come out and play Revived here a little bit. A lot hard. There you go, darling. See you later. Well, this lake's so clear, you can see that fish down there 20 feet. Down like a sub. This is what we've been using here today drop shot with this 5 inch Berkeley jerk shad. It's a pearlescent white, it's got some pink in it. When it's bright out, it's just a, it's a great color. But with the dark skies like we've got, what I've done is I've switched over to the same bait, same profile of bait, but I've gone to their glow color. And this is just putting a little more light down there and it's seeming to, seeming to work. We're picking up some fish with it. So just a little subtle change we made when the light got down. We went to the glow instead of the, the bright white. Well, if you folks have read Ernest Hemingway books, but you've heard of the Battle of the Old Man in the Sea or the Old Man Battles the Marlin, <laughs> today we've got the Old Man in the Mackinac. And it's an epic struggle. We're going to see who wins. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, that's a big fish. That's a big fish, fellas. Would you? Oh, babe. Oh, golly. That's a big fish there, guys. That looks like a submarine. Let's be careful, man. I know, I'm trying to. You worked hard, buddy. Look at that big girl right there. Huh? Is that a submarine, guys? Or is that a submarine? Okay, man. 
Yeah. I know. Oh, is he? oh, he's just like that other one. see it again. Come on, Dad. Let's go easy. Let's just be patient. Let's get it up here. Wow, man, that thing's big. Watch the back motor. I know it. Stand up, stand up. Go around. I know. Around. I know. Go around. Oh, boy. I'm starting to get nervous in my stomach. <laughs> what I tell you about him hyperventilating, it doesn't mean if he's got one on or somebody else does. I think it's worse when somebody else has got one on because I have no control of the situation. <laughs> it makes it worse. Oh my god, look at that! Where are you fit that net? Okay, we got her, we got her. Hang on, darling. Oh, guys, look at that fish. I mean, this is a big fish. Hang on, baby. Oh, guys, look at that. Huh? Now that there, my guy, is a lake trout, fellas. <laughs> what a fish. That is a huge, huge fish. Look at that. That is a bohemoth. Okay, folks, we're going to get this fish back. About 24 pounds on the boga grip. We don't want to hurt these big fish. Let's get her back in the water. She did us a good time. Look at that big girl. She's got a belly full of meat. That is a big old fish, guys. Look at there, huh? Gonna give her some time to revive. She's had a lot of work there. We don't want to let her go prematurely. We don't want to see a fish like this die, so we just need to take our time. See her pumping her gills down there. She's doing just fine. There you go, darling. You're fine. There she goes. See her fin kicking straight back down. All right. Yes. That yeah. is fun. All right, Dad. Good job, buddy. <laughs> Good, Good job, job with you. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Folks, I want to take a minute here to show you something that I've learned with fishing line and, and when you're finesse fishing. I use a lot of fluorocarbon leader. I'm a big believer in Berkeley Vanish and, and also this other line I'm going to show you. But people have complained to me that the vanish and stuff is brittle and it breaks and and i want to tell you the line is a great line uh, i don't use it as a main line um, the reason why i don't use it as a main line is because a fluorocarbon is real dense and it sinks real fast well by being a fluorocarbon it becomes brittle in the sunlight and if you leave it on a main spool of a spinning rod or a bait caster it's going to get brittle and break so when i'm using berkeley vanish i use it as a leader but I've come across a new line, and I want to take a second to show you this line. And it's it's called Real Floroflex. I got the price sticker on there, but it's called Real Floroflex. It's made by Jim Vincent, and you're actually going to find it in your fly shop. So I go into the fly fishing shop to get this, and it's a fly fishing leader. It's also a floral carbon, and it's really flexible. And with the stretch in it, with the fire line, you have zero stretch. Um, if you're using a standard leader, you're going to break it, so you want to go longer. With this floral flex, I can go with about an 8 to 10 foot leader, and it's got a nice stretch, so it acts like a shock absorber against that Berkeley fire line. But the importance of this line right here when you're finesse fishing, if you look at the size of this, this is one hundredths is the line diameter right here on this vanish. This eight pound in the same eight pound test in this floral flex is nine thousandths. This is a smaller line, and you can go up to a ten. If I go to a ten pound test right here in this line, the ten pound floral flex is one hundredths. It's the same size as this eight pound. So now I can step it up to a heavier line, it's going to be the same size diameter. And it's going to be stronger so that's a little tip for you get out there go to your fly fishing shop look for this floral flex it's a little bit spendy 9.95 or so depending on where you buy it at and it comes in a 25 yard spool 
but it is going to help you catch a lot more fish because you can go way down small diameter line and still get that strong you know six to eight pound test out of it and those fish you're going to fool them every time so give it a try you folks at home in tv land this is my camera guy mickey howe it's the end of the day and I was letting him do some fishing and he hooked into a big one here, so I'm taking over the camera and uh, we're going to let him catch a fish. He's uh, done a good job for this show and I want to let him do a little fishing. So. Alright, he said he's up here. Well folks, this is, the, this is my camera guy's fish right here. We were letting him fish there at the end of the day. He'd done a good job for the day and it's, I wanted him to catch one of these big lakers like this and help me darn if he didn't get one. I tell you, it's been a heck of a day. Dad and I have caught a lot of fish and I'll let the camera guy get in there and have some fun too. He's back on the back end of the camera. This is his fish right here. Now he knows what drop shot for lake is all about hands on. Catching big beautiful fish like this. This fish here is probably going to go around 22, 23 pounds. Big, big giant fish. Good job Mickey. Good job on the camera and good job landing that fish. That's a beauty. We're going to get some pictures of Mickey with that fish we're going to turn this thing loose. Okay folks, I hope you've enjoyed the show on lake trout fishing. I'm going to go ahead and let Mickey let that big fish go. That's his fish. Look forward to seeing you next week. Kind of hang on to her. Let her get revived. Let her give you some good kicks. Beautiful fish.